What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome to The Walking Fish 2. Yep, there's a sequel. If you're excited for some more Walking Fish, like the video, subscribe, go follow me on Twitch, and leave a comment down below. Okay. Use F to interact with objects. All right. Well, what am I doing? Uh-oh, can I not move? Okay. Am I in one of these glass things? Am I in a cryogenics lab? Okay, what does this have to do with the walking fish? All right, is there anything that I can interact with here? Anything that I can use? Can I take this? What's cryosleep like? Imagine sleeping for a whole year. Now imagine doing that 400 times over. It's no more complicated than that. If you have any more questions, you can just ask them after you wake up. I'll be right here, ready to answer. Okay. Have I been asleep for 400 years? So I was correct. This is a cryogenics lab. And this seems to be like some sort of puzzle that I don't know how to activate. So I guess... Oh, I can sprint. Good. Okay. Well, I'm just going to move forward. And... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I do have to figure out this puzzle. Maybe it's the same locations as the cryogenics chambers, maybe? Like, is it this right here? No? Oh, that's the password. Hold up, hold on. So it should be this. Um, entry override? And that should allow me to leave, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that there are plenty of puzzles scattered throughout the entirety of this area. Left shift to sprint, and yes, I certainly will need that. Hello, iPod. Can I click it? These pods were made for one reason, and one reason only, to get us into deep space. If these pods fail, the whole mission fails. I refuse to carry a single more body out of this room. I don't care if maintenance has to work day and night for a month to fix whatever is causing this. We're not screwing this up. Okay. Um, am I in space? Q and E to lean. Okay, easy enough. Oh, that looks like an open door. So maybe I'll click this. And go into the darkness where the walking fish may be. What the heck was this area? Maybe some scientific lab of some sort. Here's another one of those iPods. Let me just click it. Okay, so let's just go over this one more time. We get into the control room, divert the power away from the elevator, we lure him into the control room, and then we slam the door shut. I know it sounds risky, but it's the only way to keep the pods going with what power we have left. And besides, no matter how you look at it, we're dying on this station. Oh, am I on a space station? Not necessarily a spaceship. And the station was attacked by a walking fish? Which, in itself, is terrifying. I mean, then again, I am a walking fish. Haha, -ha, salmon joke. What is this? Oh, I can pick that up. Wait, I saw another one of those in the lab. I think it was in this back corner. Yep, let me pick this up, because apparently that's important. I think they go here. Because maybe I'm trying to power up the station again? Like that? Did I do something bad? Did I unleash the walking fish? I feel like I heard a growl. <gasps> oh, yep, 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 oh, yes sir, I did! Oh, it's a walking fish! That's no good! Okay, how do I get away? I'm gonna dive in here. Can I close the door? Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Did you give up? I'm just gonna close that door real quick. Okay! So, walking fish! That is definitely the threat. There's gotta be something in here, right? I mean, hell, the door opened up. Is there, is there nothing in here that I can, like, work with? Oh god. Okay. 
I'm not really sure what I'm looking at because that's a human carcass, but then that's fish. So, what? Uh, okay, I'm not sure what the walking fish was doing in here. There's gotta be like another area that opened up. Okay, there, oh God, he looks so creepy. Yep, that is a fish with some thick legs, man. Extra thick. I'm pretty sure I'm trying to get to the command bridge elevator. I'm just not sure how to restore power to it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, cause that says cryopods and that says elevator. So there has to be something that I gotta do here. Can I change these? Oh, yo, I can. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's figure out what we need to do to turn the elevator back on. Got it, got it. Okay, the elevator's on. Okay, good, you're distracted. I don't remember where the elevator is. <gasps> Jesus, okay, hello, my friend. Okay, is this it, is that it? That is, that's the kitchen. That's, that's the elevator right here. Okay. Up or down we go. On to the next floor, I guess. Okay. Oh. This looks nice. Is there more than one walking fish? What is this? Missing biomass identification fluid. Alright, well that sounds gross. Yep, that confirms it. I am in the depths of space, and there's the sun, and that's it. Oh boy. This is quite an impressive space station. I'm sure we'll get more lore as we continue forward. Hello there. It appears that I have been tasked with finding a set of renewable chemicals that will produce a working biomass identification fluid for our elevator systems. My intuition tells me that I should begin analyzing the chemical known as floundering. Okay. So it looks like they were doing a whole bunch of genetic experiments on fish. Well, that seemed to backfire, didn't it? I mean, now, now we have a demonic walking fish who wants to eat me, apparently. Hello? My intuition was correct. The combination of floundering and this new and renewable chemical will produce a blue liquid exhibiting behavior of a biomass identification fluid. However, the compound appears to be missing a third chemical that will allow it to correctly interact with electronic components. I will report back later. Okay. I'm not really picking up on Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Do I have to make the bio stuff? I do. Oh, and then I have to make the right thing to bring it back to that other thing and then go. Okay, I mean, that's probably incorrect. So I'm just going to not worry about that. All right, let, let's let's go look around and see if we can find the right, like, combination of stuff. Cough, cough, it worked. The missing piece was a single third chemical. It appears as if this new compound gives off some kind of smoke. Testing shows no issues, so I would like to say that we have now discovered a sustainable way to produce biomass identification fluid. Time for my lunch break. My intuition tells me that I should begin analyzing the chemical known as floundering. Floundering. Okay. Let me write floundering down. Yep, floundering is one of the compounds. I just need to figure out which two others go together to make this. The combination of floundering and this new and renewable chemical will produce a blue liquid. It appears as if this new compound gives off some kind of smoke. Smoke. Testing shows no issues. Okay, so, so I'm, like I'm to trying to figure out a compound that's blue and that's smoky? That's gotta be it. So it's Norvegicus. Okay. That's it, and it's smoking. Okay, I have the 
fluid. Whatever this is supposed to be, I have it. And in you go into the biomass identification fluid. There we go. And now I can move on to, I guess, the next floor and the next puzzle, right? Hooray. <gasps> oh, 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 hey, dude, don't, don't do that. Okay, <laughs> my god. Okay, are bad things about to happen? Are we back where the walking fish dwells? Most likely. Uh-oh, a little lag there, but I'm okay. Moving forward. Have to interact. Hello? I'm gonna make sushi out of you wherever you are. I think Mac or Douglas left their food down here. It smelled like shite and petrol. Like, where do I go? There's fish smell, fish smell. Sometimes these fish bones. Like, for fuck's sake, clean up after yourself. Okay. I guess I'll just do some exploring until something happens or until I find something that actually looks semi interesting. This looks interesting, but I can't get in there. Maybe the fish isn't on this floor. I mean, I'm not hearing any walking or any, like, slushing around of what would sound like sushi, right? Uh, hello, computer. Unlock sto- ooh! Unlock storage, that seems legit. Okay, so, hopefully I unlocked something. Yep, that seems promising. Okay. Oh, there he is, there he is, see- Yep, are you serious? Are you, you see me? You see me! Oh, ho, 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 No, I didn't say, hey, Siri! No, Siri, turn off! No, stop it! Stop, Siri! Shut up! No, no! <laughs> I turned my Siri on. My bad. Do you not go outside of the storage? How close can I get before you freak out? <laughs> oh, 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 not that close! Okay, run back! Turn around! Time to run! Did you stop chasing me? Oh, you're dumb. Oh, you're dumb. Okay. Let me do a little bit of exploring before you figure out my plan. <laughs> oh, you didn't give me much time. What am I supposed to be finding in the storage? Oh, this. That looks good. Key card. Key, I got a key card. I got a key card. I don't know where this goes. Machine hall? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Are there more of you? Yeah, there are more of you. Hey, don't walk. Don't walk this way. See ya. Okay, I wanted to ask the question, like, were there more than just one walking fish? And the answer is a resounding yes. Are those your eggs? Because that's gross. Okay, he didn't like me saying that. My bad. Or she, I guess. Oh, power status? Online? Oh, God. Waiting for second switch? Okay, second switch, all right? No, 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 no. Okay, I can only survive two hits. And then I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, at least I know what I need to do in this area. I think I see where the second switch is. One is over to the left, and one is over to the right. And so, if I'm just quick enough, and maybe stealthy enough, I can run by this walking fish no problem. Boom, there's one. <laughs> My bad. Oh, that's the only way in and out. Okay. Oh, can I crouch? I have no idea if I can crouch. If I can crouch, actually, that would help. But that's okay. I'm probably going to die. I'm probably going to die. Hit it. Oh, online. Power status online. I don't know what I turned on, but I need it. Oh, come on. Go to the left. Go to the left. Appreciate it. All right, now we got to figure out where we need to go next. I turn the power on to something. That looks correct. Okay. Elevator. Go, 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 go. 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 Right on time. This is a weird game. <gasps> Thank you.
That's not real. Press escape to force a shutdown. That can't be real. Huh. My game crashed. Uh, okay. Continue? Where does it put me? Oh. What? Patch code? Okay, the game sent me to kind of like a weird site which told me to type in this. So that's the patch. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. I got a duck under the fish, but then I also have to like try to run away from the big fish. This is not the walking. It's, it's not like this. Okay. Um. I. I. I am. I am very confused. Oh my God. Okay. I guess I'll try to like beat this game now, or or lose. I guess. Uh... Okay... The Flight of the Fish, a painting by Ringo Dingo. Ringo Dingo became famous after his work with oil paintings made from actual fish oil. This painting is said to have been finished only minutes before his death back in 1985. His family found him dead in his studio, where he had choked on a sardine. Okay, I'm confused. I am in an art gallery. For whatever reason. And not on a spaceship. Which makes no sense. Is that a buff baby? The Final Frontier, a painting by Ringo Dingo. This painting is a fish oil painting which depicts the inside of a fictional space station. Ringo Dingo is quoted saying that this space station holds the key to what it means to be a fish. You just have to look closer. Okay, you just said that it was fictional. Where the heck am I now? This is a very meta game. Deep Ocean, a painting by J. Christ. After watching the movie, help, I'm a fish. J. Christ picked up her brush and started painting this iconic piece of art. This painting really the makes door feel like a fish, so we can see why the movie inspired. I don't really care about the art anymore. I guess I had to look at enough pieces of art for me to continue on, which is weird. And now I'm in a closet. Okay. Um. <laughs> I am so confused. What is happening? <gasps> okay, is there like another but? Oh. Developer portal. Only devs allowed. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. That's right. I, I appreciate it. That's a perfect fit. Oh, thank you. That's not quite right. What? I think you have the wrong shape. Yeah, like it'll fit. You can tell it won't fit, right? Okay, well, give me another option. This is why everyone thinks you're stupid. No wonder your parents left you. What? That's it. I won't have any more of your stupidity. Get out of my classroom. I'm sorry, Ms. Teacher. Oh, 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 okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I guess I'll go to the bathroom and cry. What? Legs are evil. What kind of place is this? Uh, <laughs> I am. I, oh, I'm a fish. Oh. 
I don't like you. You're a disappointment. You can't not have me. I think you're never gonna pass this way. You should never be a fish. You should never have me. What is so hard about understanding that you're you can't have a fish? It just doesn't work. Thank you. This was some early footage from my upcoming biography, Life of Fish, which will be shown at the Sunfish Festival. It is still a bit rough on the edges, but the animators over at Fishsoft are doing their best to smooth it out. I, I, I need a sec to process everything that just happened. Is this like a game within a game within a game within... A biography movie. I okay. When can we expect to see the movie? Well, the first screening will be at Sunfish Festival, but we will have a preview available in the coming months. Okay. Oh, is it autobiographical? Yes, this is one hundred percent based on my childhood experience as a fish. It will tell the story of me being bullied in school and my decision to fly into outer space. Most importantly, how I found that finding myself in space wasn't the solution to my problems, or any problems at all. We heard you recently gave out a game! That's correct. Before starting work on the movie, I came into contact with two developers who suffer from the same leg condition as I do. As a way to spread awareness, we decided to come together and make a game about fish like us. It launched on Itch.io a few years back. I brought some gameplay footage, so let's have a look. Yeah, The Walking Fish won. Don't forget fish. Don't forget fish. Catch you later, fishy. What is there to say about The Walking Fish 2? I feel like there's so much to say, but yet I find myself speechless. As the game salmon, I approve of this game, like wholeheartedly. <laughs> I love the humor. Um, it was very confusing at the end, but I like that. Like, I, I like it when games try to push into this kind of meta vibe, uh, where it almost brings in like you as the player trying to figure out like, is this a game within a game? Is is the game knowledgeable that it's a game? I, <laughs> I. I just, I find myself at a loss for words. This was, this was just The Walking Fish 2. Thank you all so much for recommending that I play this game. I definitely got a lot of enjoyment out of it. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to click on the end cards at the end of this video. Also be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already done so. I love you all so much. Go out there and make someone stay. Be happy, stay happy. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.